name is John Merrick. I was born and raised in Memphis. I'm an activist, an attorney, and I would like to announce that I'm running for City Council District 5. Back in January, I wrote an article calling for a progressive to run for Memphis City Council District 5. District 5 is a purple district. However, it is perceived as a red district based on the makeup of the turnout in 2015. It also happens to have an incumbent who comes from a family that owns one of the largest wealth management and capital market firms not headquartered on Wall Street. No one stepped up. No one heeded my call. I cannot allow a conservative to have District 5 for free. Worth Morgan voted against instant runoff voting, even though Memphians overwhelmingly supported it in both 2008 and 2018. Memphis City Council voted and wasted $40,000 of taxpayer money funding a misleading and failed campaign against instant runoff voting. I've supported it since 2008, and I'm one of the plaintiffs in the lawsuit fighting the state and city council who are trying to halt implementation. Worth Morgan also abstained from the decriminalization of cannabis a vote, which passed with seven votes and which I lobbied for and supported. When I ran in 2015, I personally knocked on over 6,500 doors. I held many events and I also researched and developed a plan that I ran on and city council uh, staff actually relied on when trying to come up with ideas in the previous council. This time, I have a fiduciary duty to a company I started that I must uphold. Therefore, I cannot run the same campaign I ran last time. That being said, I'm still going to run a campaign and I offer you an option that you otherwise wouldn't have an option of progress with qualifications as opposed to the status quo country club mentality that currently grasps our city government. We live in a 65% African American city, yet city government is controlled by wealthy conservative interests. Even some of our so-called progressives on the council vote with the 1% when their puppet strings are pulled. Let me be clear, I have no issue with an individual's ability to earn money and become wealthy. What I have a problem with is when that wealth is used to rig our system and have a disproportionate voice in government. This is done on the local level through the use of super districts and the use of runoffs. In 2022, City Council is going to get the opportunity to redraw our districts. We need a slate of candidates and council members to support 13 single member districts and we need them to also oppose runoffs. If we re-elect the current crop of City Council, you can expect more protectionist measures like runoffs and more protectionist measures like super districts. The current Memphis City Council has let the city down. You will elect the next City Council this year, which will redraw the City Council districts in 2022. This year is crucial. Early voting starts on September 13th and it ends September 28th. Election day is October 3rd. This October, vote for change, vote Merrick for Memphis.